Hello friends, Sergio Gomez here and welcome to episode number seven of Breakfast with Sergio. Today I want to talk about how to manage your art inventory. This is something that as artists we have to deal all the time with. So in this episode, I want to tell you a little bit about the you know an option and options that you have on how to manage your art inventory. So welcome to breakfast with Sergio. Well, first of all, today for breakfast, I have uh, some delicious French toast. So it's French toast with bananas and strawberry and a cup of uh, nuts as well. Oh, and of course, a uh, little bit of whipped cream with cinnamon on the top. As you guys know, I love cinnamon, <laughs> as I've said it before. So cinnamon is one of my favorite uh, things to add on my breakfast. So that's what's, that's what's waiting for me. I don't know what you're having for breakfast today, but I hope it's a good one. Well, today I want to talk about, again, how to manage your art inventory. This is something that as artists we have to deal with all the time. As, uh, you know, time goes by or inventory grows, gets larger, gets bigger. So we have to be able to manage it. So there's two ways in which you can manage your art inventory. One is you can manage it yourself by creating some sort of system in your computer to organize all your files and all, everything, all the information about that. I don't know how many of you are as old as I am, and you remember the days when we had uh, to use um, slides. Remember those little slides? And we had to kind of create an inventory system for our art, and you had those slide sheets on those binders, and you know that's how we used to manage uh, our art you know, inventory before the computer, right? But now we have evolved <laughs> and I've lived through that evolution. I no longer need slides. Many of you remember those days. So now in a digital world, how we do it? Well, you want to create a system where you can find the information rather quickly, rather fast, right? Not only the images, your high res images, maybe details of certain works. And also uh, you want to be able to find all the information that pertains to each work. Well, over time, hello everybody. Over time, that has become more, more, and more difficult because uh, you know the longer you are an artist, the more work you make, so your inventory gets ever larger all the time. So, what uh, I want to recommend to you is, well, something I used to do before. It was you know I, I had a, a system in my computer where I, in one folder I put all my files, in another file I had in a word file I had all the titles and things, and in another file I had all shows and, and things like that. Well, the problem with that is that uh, eventually it gets to be too much. And if you need to put together, let's say, a list of works for a show, it takes you forever to find all that information and put it on a new system, right? Or to put it on a new file. So I am so excited because uh, two and a half years ago, I discovered a company that's called Artwork Archive. And I know many of you have heard of it. Perhaps many of you are already using Artwork Archive, but it's a company that I found and it just has saved me so much hassle, so much time in the last two and a half years that I'm so thankful about it that I keep telling everyone about Artwork Archive. So Artwork Archive is an online platform, an online system where you can upload your whole inventory, I mean, all the art that you make, and you can manage it from that online system. So the way it works is you upload every work that you make once it's uploaded, then you can manage it. You can uh, put the title, the medium, the size, all the information you need. You can also register when that work goes to a show. So every work has a history of what it has been, which I find that to be very, very valuable, especially when dealing with collectors who want to know the history of a particular work. And you know, some works have been in, in, in important shows, so it's very important for me to document that. Well, Artwork Archive does it all for me. I mean, it does, it makes, it does a lot of things, but that's one of the, one of my favorite things. Another really cool thing is that, let's say when, you know, you have an exhibition, uh, you add a location in Artwork Archive, so you put the location, where is it going to be, and then you can assign works that are going to go to that location, and then with a push of a button, you can create labels that you can then attach to the work. And you can, with a push of a button, create a consignment sheet with a report that has the thumbnail and all the information that you want. So when you go to the gallery, you bring your work and you also bring one of those sheets and it just makes you look so professional. It's just great. 
I love it, I highly recommend it. If you don't use Hardware Archive or another system like that, you really have to because this is, you know, it's a tool that will save you a lot of time which you can then spend in your studio uh, doing the work that you want. You know, at the end of the day, when I talk to artists, it's about, you know, how much time do you spend putting together a report? Well, maybe half hour, 45 minutes. Well, what if it take you only five minutes, you know? That's the difference that a, a system like Artwork Archive and others will do for you. So that's something that I want to recommend, my friends. If you don't have a system to manage your inventory, you should definitely look for one. The one I recommend is Artwork Archive. There are others that I've tried, but this is the one I like the most. And uh, you definitely should have something because it will help you in the long run uh, be organized. Now, the cool story, here's what's fun. The cool story about Artwork Archive is that uh, the, the founder of Artwork Archive, the founders, there's two of them, uh, one of them, John uh, Fosters, his mom is an artist. So the, the way he created Artwork Archive is that he saw how his mom struggled you know, to get her artwork organized and didn't have an inventory uh, system for that. And so him being an entrepreneur, he's like, wait a minute, mom, there's gotta be a better way. And she said, no, there's no way, you know, this just how artists do it and he's like no it's got to be a better way so he put upon himself to create a system for artists to help his mom you know so by helping his mom he ended up helping all of us as artists who use artwork archive and i find that to be a great story because behind this platform is a guy who you know wanted to help his mom who is an artist and manage her artwork her art career and uh, that's just awesome that's just fabulous uh, they keep up updating the system. Now they have a lot more things on it. There's also reminders, there's also shows, there's uh, reports, there's all kinds of features. And the best part is that it, it is super, super affordable. So if you're an artist on a tight budget, it's super affordable. You can try it for free, I think, uh, for, a, for a number of days, and then it's super affordable per month too. So uh, I think that is pretty cool. It's great service that they're providing. So my friend, uh, in this episode, before I get back to my breakfast here with my French toast, who smells really well, uh, if you need an inventory system for your art career, well, you know, don't look further. Check out artwork at artworkarchive.com or others, but definitely you need to have something to manage your art career because this is right now 2018. If you're still doing it the old fashioned way in a little folder in your computer, you know, I don't know, that's not, that's not as productive as going with a system that helps you to do that, gives you the reports, gives you the, the PDFs, gives you everything that you need to manage your art career in 2018. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you had a great time today. Hope you have an amazing day. It's kind of rainy here today in the city of Chicago, but you know, that's, that's the time of the year. So have an amazing day and we'll see you in the next episode of Breakfast with Sergio. Bye. Thank you.